peace, peace, peace. What it do, family? Happy Saturday. Peace and blessings. Uh, this is just a mini prezi, little mini presentation, a few slides, nothing in depth, nothing major. Just touching on my two or men two. Um, one of the natural that doesn't seem to get as much shine as the other, the other natural. Um, this might be something that I start doing on a regular. But uh, I want to keep it short and sweet, so let's get into it. Montu and Kemet was the falcon-headed nature of war and embodiment of the conquering vitality of the king. He was a chief deity of Waset, despite being a Delta native deity. In addition to the falcon, the bull was also his sacred animal. Montu was usually represented as a man with a falcon's or bull's head, with his head surmounted by the solar disc because of his conceptual link with Ra and two feathers. And I have a representation of the depiction or image that I just described, or um, natural rule that I just described on the right. He has the two plumes or feathers aka he has the solar disc of Ra um, and he has the falcon head with a human body Mentu's name shown in the sesh to the right is technically transcribed as Mentu meaning nomad the most significant literary evidence referring to Mentu was the story of Sinue when he was praised by the game's hero after he defeated the strong man and uh, on the right I have the uh, Montu's name in the sesh as I just stated um, I'm not the um, the uh, Rani Kimi expert but I do have brothers for that. And uh, if uh, anybody challenges this, they can just uh, hit me up and we can get to the bottom of it. Mentu originally was the manifestation of the scorching effects of Ra, the sun, and appeared under the epithet Mentu Ra. His fierce and destructive character led him to be classified as a warrior and eventually a widely revered war nature. It was thought that Mentu would attack the enemies of Ma'at, which is the principle of truth, righteousness, justice, balance, cosmic order, etc. While inspiring glorious warlike exploits, Mentu was... Mentu would sometimes link with Haru, and his epithet would be Haru of the Strong Arm. So you uh, see Mentu um, associated with Ra already, and Haru already. Let's keep going. King Mentu II, his name means Mentu is pleased. Uh, excuse me, King Mentu Hotep the second, which means Mentu is pleased, who was from Waset, succeeded in unifying both Upper and Lower Kemet after the chaos of the first intermediate period. As he took the throne, he moved the capital from Middle Egypt to Waset, and he chose the local nature of the area by that name, Mentu as the chief nature. The position of Mentu as supreme deity did not last for long before Amen began to gain power in the 12th dynasty. So, um, Mentu was coming up, but uh, he was quickly surpassed by Amen, which is one of the prominent deities that we all know when we think of Kemet. 
uh, meant to. However, it's not. So that's why I'm uh, bringing light to meant to and uh, specifically. And on the left, we have Brother King Mentuo, Chapter 2, and the Cairo Museum. From the 11th dynasty onwards, Mentu was considered the symbol of the kings as rulers, conquerors, and winners, as well as their inspirer on the battlefield. The Remetch armies were surmounted, and the Remetch are the indigenous Egyptians. Uh, the Remetch armies were surmounted by the insignia of the four Mentu from Waset, Armand, Metamood, and El Tu and El Tad. All represented while trampling and piercing the enemies with a spear in a classic pugnacious pose. Mentu has several Mentu had several consorts, which that was supposed to be consorts, such as Teninet, Eunit, uh, and Ra'et-Tawi, which is a female form of Ra. And on the right, again, I have a representation of Mentu, uh, the falcon-headed, uh, human-bodied deity with the solar disc of Ra, the uh, the uh, and the two plumes. During the New Kingdom, Mentu's role as war nature is clearly mentioned on the archaeological documents, such as the stele of Thutmose the Third, Gebel Barker which describes the king as a valiant Mentu on the battlefield. Because of his association of bulls with strength and war, the Remitch believed that Mentu manifests himself as a white, black-snouted bull named Bukis, or Baka, to the point that in the late period, which is the 7th to the 4th centuries BCE, Mentu was depicted with a bull's head too. This sacred bull had dozens of servants and wore precious crowns and bibs. These bulls symbolized the twin Ka of Ra and Wusir, or uh, aka Osar or aka Osiris. Um, and on the on the right we have Mentu uh, depicted as the bull, and if I'm correct, this comes from actually the Ptolemaic period. Epithets of general kings of Kemet that include Mentu are Mighty Bull, Son of Mentu, Mentu with his strong right arm, which is, I have the name in parenthesis. That, that was actually a name. I have that in parentheses. I don't want to try it because I don't want to slaughter it. Um, I'm L. Tep the third called himself Mentu of Rulers. Uh, Ramesu or Ramses the second boasts himself as Mantu of the Two Lands and was said to have seen the enemy and raged at them like Mentu, Lord of Waset. And on the right, the X that you see is uh, at the bottom, at the very bottom of the image, you see uh, Mentu depicted as a griffin um, on a ceremonial battle axe representing the warrior king Ahmos the first trampling over his enemies. So real quick, those are my references. Um, I told y'all this is going to be short and sweet, quick and fast. Uh, I didn't really want to go too into depth. I just wanted to put something out to get some type of recognition to <clears throat> 
these lesser known deities. We all know deities like Amun, uh, Ra, Haru, Set, um, Geb, Newt. Uh, you know, we all know these. But it's lesser known deities or Neturu like uh, Mantu or Mentu that I want to push because um, it was a, a, a lot of deities in Kemet. A lot of deities in um I think it's time we give some shine to the lesser knowns because they all had followings. Each and every last one of them had a following. Or they wouldn't have been deities. So, uh, yeah, peace, man. Peace to the people. Thanks for stopping by.